Gail. So recently I picked up this HB 101 plant vitalizer. Um, I'd seen some good things about it on Instagram and thought I'd give it a go. So that came in the mail last week, I think. Um, up to then, I have been using Growth Technologies um, Climax Clone Solution. I have foliage focus as well. Um, I really like them. I've noticed an improvement in my um, Ilmar Ilsamanii see, um, cuttings. They seem to be doing quite well watering them with these fertilizers. But I thought, hey, why don't I do a little experiment? So, just gone outside and picked some dolphins from my string of dolphins. I chose these because I have propagated them a lot. I've sold a few pots of them. They root really fast, so this would give me a really quick... Um, idea on what differences these fertilizers and plant vitalizers make. So what I thought I'd do is I have four cups of water with each with different fertilizers and added. Um, I set it up first and I pH balanced the water and then I split that into one litre, no, half a litre uh, containers so I could accurately measure the correct dosage to that water. So for the HBO 101, I have a drop of this concentrate. The CCS, I have 2.5 millilitres per 500 ml. And then I thought, why not combine them both and see what that's like. So I have combined what was left of both of them. They were exactly the same amount because the cups were the same size. I measured out a litre, half a litre for both. Combined them both. So hopefully that should give me, well that'll be a half strand, but that should still give me some sort of idea. Um, so I'm going to add these to each of them. And then I'm going to find a spot to put them all and I will report back to you once I've done that. So I thought I might put them on top of my IKEA cabinet as my husband has moved it right in front of the window and they would get the same amount of light. So let's have a look. There they are. Hubby just reminded me that we were going to take two cuttings of each and put them in there because occasionally when I've got them in water, some cuttings root faster than others. So I thought if we use two, we've got a greater chance of at least one of them rooting. It's now the 19th of November. I checked the video footage and I put them in on the 11th. So we're eight days into the experiment. Um, I've been watching them. Um, they've started. They started rooting probably five days ago. Um, but I wanted to leave it until they were a little bit longer and to see how many rooted and stuff. So here they are. Now I'll start off with the water one. Excuse me, dog. So this is one for water. Um, as I explained at the end of the video before, I put two in each, just so if one, because I notice sometimes when I'm rooting them normally, um, you notice one does and one doesn't in the same water, it takes longer, so I thought if I use two, that way I'll know definitely. Uh, so the one in just plain water, um, I'll take them out and you can have a look. Not sure if you can see. Have I got any roots? I think it's quite
quite odd because normally when I root these, oh, 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 no, I lie. I think there's a tiny one. Oh, focus, yeah, there's a tiny one there. And oh, I think we have the slight start of a little one. It's very hard to see. It's the water. Uh, so now we have the HB101. Let's have a look. Alright. There's no obvious roots. Um, I will have a look closer and it looks like there's something starting right at the very tip. There's a couple of little lumps. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's one. Um, tiny. Not much happening there. Definitely less than the water one. Okay, so the, the growth technology Clonex clone solution. Let's have a look. Lucky there's nothing, nothing there at all on that one, and there's not got anything on that one either. Now I did mention there was roots, and it's really interesting because it seems to be the one with the combination of the two has given me some roots. And there we go. Can you see those roots? One and a little one down the bottom, and that one as well. And let's have a look. Nothing on the bottom of that one. So there you go. So it seems from this that the combination worked the best. Um, and then second was just plain water. which I find very interesting. Make of it what you will, but I'm definitely using them in a combination on my plants now.